What is up my dudes, it's Pac-Man here and welcome back to another episode of Or6 Analysis. So today we're gonna to be checking out our trolley, basically playing around that silver, silver two, silver one rank, um, can't seem to get into gold and you know, then onto platinum. Um, he says that he watches a decent amount of pro league um, and tries to kind of emulate and mimic some of the pro league strats, uh, but sometimes that backfires for him. So we're gonna be uh, definitely keeping an eye on that today. And um, yeah, looking through a few other bits of um, bits and pieces and see if we can help take this man to the next level. Uh, really quickly before we start, I just wanted to shout out or just ask you guys, um, a lot of people have been commenting saying do uh, they want me to do console gameplay for all six analysis. Um, I personally don't have an issue doing um, console gameplay. The only thing is, is that I've never actually played console siege, right? So I've played a very, very small amount of it. Um, and so I don't really know what I would be looking at. You know what I mean? Like in terms of like what's good and what's bad on PC, I know what good and what bad looks like. Um, but you know, on console, I don't have that experience. Um, so I'm happy to do it if you guys want me to. Um, but again, you know, like mechanically and stuff like that, I won't be able to see if that's what's holding you back um, just because I, I don't have yeah, the experience in, in console siege. So um, leave me a few comments down below if you want me to, um, if you want me to do console siege, maybe a few tips and, and uh, pointers on how, how we can make that work um but without wasting any more time be sure to smash that like button hit subscribe as per always and uh leave a comment down below to show the support um and let's get straight into it protect the bomb so starting off on hooker billiards my man's playing mute and standard rotate mute down to blue stairs Good Not sure about that mute. <laughs> Can be shot from the roof. Setting the welcome map. Bit of a waste of utility. Ten seconds. Ten seconds remaining. And we have two reinforcements and two mute jammers still to put down. Oh what all these boys are doing down here at sunrise. About to get frisky most likely. So what you can already kind of pick up is you don't really know what you're doing in terms of your setup. You just, you, know, you keep running places and then going, oh, what about that? I forgot about that and coming around and turning around. Really like, you know, now it's two minutes and 30 into the round. We're still setting up site here. You get punished, up, you get punished for this if you, um, yeah, you know, if the other team was switched on. You need like so that wall that you're sitting beside right there has to be reinforced if you're going to play this spot otherwise it's pointless 2v4 already looks like the team has taken advantage of it Friendly operator push site so really what what was your downfall there was just a, a pure lack of um speed in setting up to increase your speed spending uh, setting up you, you need to just basically give yourself a plan and say okay if i'm going to play mute Play mute on hooker billiards every time you're in coastline just for a bit. Play them. Get used to the four spots you put down your mute jammers, the two reinforcements, and if you need to make um, the two rotate holes. So that should be your 45 seconds, and it should be just basically go as soon as you start. And that's going to save you some time. Yeah. I would, um, that's the first thing that I'd pick up. Obviously, we didn't really get a chance to see you in a gunfight, um, but that's the first thing that I'd be picking up there is, is just site setup was all over the place. So you need to work on that, my friend. Protect the bombs. So we've decided to hit back up the billiards and see if we can get this done any bit faster. This is good. This is fast. Vibe on um, cool vibe. I like it. So again, getting to that point here. Six seconds left. No reinforcements down. Still got an ADS in your hand. That's a terrible ADS. <laughs> Think about it. That's not going to block anything, um, my dude. Cause they're just gonna shoot it from Aquador. See, that's a really good reinforcement for anyone that doesn't know um, why 
uh, trolleys reinforcing that particular. I'd reinforce both VIP walls though. I wouldn't just do the first one because you can still get a pretty mean line of sight with the other one being soft. Um, that's just preference though. Um, but why he's actually reinforcing that is they see if the attackers were pretty switched on, they come in through VIP. It's how we push it. Me, and my, t me, and my team um, push in through. Nice shot. Careful of the, the roof. Isn't there someone on the roof? Yeah, you can hear someone on roof. <clears throat> you definitely don't want to be sitting in luggage um, 45 seconds into the round when, you know, I'm pretty sure I could hear someone on the roof there before I was, I was speaking during it. But um, if they see you there, you just, it's over. <laughs> round over. But yeah, open up that wall in VIP that cuts off um, the billiards rotate, and then you wrap the bomb around to Aquador. It's actually a really good way to get a plant down, and that line of sight super important, so that's a good reinforcement. So here, 4v2. It's not looking too bad. Not doing a whole lot, won't lie. So you decided to wrap. Guess you were just hoping for someone to push down your side. But again, you don't want to be just sitting anywhere random when they're pushing sight. Or close enough to push inside. Again, I don't... Yeah, okay. Wrapping into the action. Let's see what sort of angle we get. Okay, he's at the doorway. That's pretty fire. Don't need to get over aggressive play time, and keep boy. shooting. Yeah, play time. Oh, not sure what's going on with this positioning. Your first position was perfect. You just need to relax, my friend. Just calm down. Setting up the crossfire with the KE now, which isn't bad. But that that push across the door frame, not what you want to be doing. Okay, it's dropped off. Not sure why. Done. Yeah, the, that, that was that was fine. I just would relax. Um, it seemed like that that push that you made to um, you yeah, had to come across to this side, like that. You really should have got murdered for that. <laughs> um, you just need to relax. And just take you, that first angle we had there was fine. You had the bomb to play with. You had the the you obviously the desk. You had a key um, roughly around to, to look for the trade. That walk out to get on the the couch, uh, like you just get, yeah. Definitely should have died doing that, <laughs> but it didn't and it worked out, so well done. In See, honestly, like, I, I do know what you mean about, um, like, that, I don't know about that mute uh, jammer placement there either, but I do know what you mean, like, I can tell, same with that one, that'll get shot from the roof, um, that you have watched Pro League, because you, you do have like you're doing certain things like this reinforcement here putting the rotate on the left side there in penthouse and um a few little bits and bobs like that which which uh which which tell me um which tell me that you do have a relative understanding but sometimes what i find is that people that watch pro league and they watch um different things like that and watch kind of higher level gameplay um, if you try and just directly mimic what's happening in Pro League without understanding why they're doing it, it it's done to no effect. Do you know what I mean? And like, even with your Mute Jammer placements, like, they're just a little bit all over the place. Like, Mute Jammer should be almost like blocking off an area, right? So you should be popping your jammers down so that drones cannot pass, right? Drones cannot get in. So you've got one all the way down a hooker there. Um, which isn't really helping anyone here in the team. You've got one in luggage and one uh, directly behind you in front of that shield. And these are fine, so they can't drain you from luggage. If they come up main stairs, they'll only get to the tip of the hallway. But yeah, I'd just be more focused on like blocking off an area and then you personally playing that area, playing off that lack of information. So again, a lot of action happening and it feels like you're not really there to help. Got this cool vibe player here locked down. Holding an angle. Yo, he's just throwing pick. Three, four. Nice shot. 
good patience as well. So you don't want to play under that hatch. I'm not sure if that's what you're planning to do. You definitely don't want to wait around underneath the hatch. 2v2. You, you really need to start working to get back to site here again. Good effort with the C4. But again, you know what I mean? You kind of, you're not helping the team hold off an attack. They're, they're kind of just skipping you. Um, you did get a kill there on the Twitch and that was well done. But yeah, that drone, you need to shoot that drone and they just got the info on you. One on the mirror, that's not going to go well. It's just inevitable. Yeah. So I guess, you know, once you know there's someone on the mirror, or sorry, on the window, one thing you can do, I can't see this going, going well for this man. Yeah, one one thing you can do, if you know that there's someone on that um, that window, you, if you're both trapped in theater, that window's just going to cut you off. It's going to really struggle to get through it. Um, so, like, you, you tried to pre-fire, which isn't a bad move, but, you know, maybe maybe make that call out to your teammate and say, on, on main window, like, run out. One of you guys almost needs to sacrifice yourself and because you're not going to make it all the way down there, kill her, and then come all the way back up and defuse, but your teammate might, right? So, remember, you can play off each other's time. So, if you just go and say, all right, I'm not going for the bomb, I'm going for the main window player, and let your other teammate try and find that player in Hall of Fame. Um, so, I guess that's just that little bit of... Maybe that's how you might have been able to play. I'm not saying that would have worked, but it's an option. That was a nomad as well, so she might have had main, main door blocked off. But yeah. So all in all, tips for that defense there. You need to work on site. So your site um, setup, and you need, to be, you need to be increasing that, and you need to be doing it with a bit more purpose. If you're playing mute, remember what I said about blocking off an area for droning um, for either you or your teammate to play. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be you specifically that plays it, um, but you can. But I would, I'd be I'm definitely trying to work on that, getting that done as fast as possible and a little bit more intent with, um, with yeah, your setup, you know where you're going. Um, when you are roaming and you're getting off such, make sure you're not getting Five skipped seconds. over. Um, it happened once or twice. Um, you know, the first one actually played out, you end up beating that buck, but just make sure you're not just getting skipped. Don't give the enemy team an opportunity to just skip right past you because if your team keep going down on site, um, that's a run out then you know you, you basically you haven't helped you've just been skipped are you serious man you guys are getting run out on hardcore unlucky oh oh i'd always be expecting that um that duck to re-peek there dude See, so notice the time, right? Two minutes, 20, and you're upstairs. If you didn't have that issue with the dock, you would have been on the roof looking at that VIP door at two minutes, 30, two minutes, 35. Um, so if that, if you'd flipped it and, you know, you were uh, reinforcing that VIP wall at two minutes, 35, you were dead. Do you, you know, I know that's a bit of you, Inception. Uh, but that's why you, you can't be spending that long um, reinforcing. Your whole team's gone down. So not a whole lot you can do here. A minute in. Droning. Let's have a look. You're just gonna hot drop. Oh. Not a bad play. I'd, I'd personally, personally, I'm, I'd maybe just be taking that that gunfight um, there with the rook, because yeah, like you know, it's a one before. You have to start finding heads, um, or else you just eventually you're gonna get done by time and angles. Um, so when you have the opportunity to take a one-on-one -on -one gunfight in a 1v4, I'd be, I'd be taking that opportunity. Not to say that you would have won that gunfight, but yeah. So quick side note, I only spawn in main entrance on Coastline. I don't spawn anywhere else, no matter where I'm going or what I'm pushing. Just because of how frustrating um, some of the spawn peak angles and the spawn peak line of sights that they have uh, from basically every other spawn site. Main lobby, I can just... Just cruise straight in. I don't have to worry about no dock peek me off Falco or anything like that. Fun fact. So an interesting thing to note here is your drone's in security room right now. I'm, I'm actually curious to see which way you decide to push. Let's see if you're going to make use of that first drone.
So even there, like you, you've obviously come to try and get that duck to see if he's spawn peeking. Again, you just don't. It's not something that you necessarily need to do. And I find it's something that like happens a lot in these ranks where there's no real goal or direction. Like you just, I, I don't think you know what you want to do yet. You know, which is an issue, like legitimately an issue. You have to kind of come into every round knowing roughly what you want to do. Same thing goes on defense. You need to know where you want to put down your ADSs, your mute jammers. Know what side of, what kind of place you're going to play. Um, I'm not saying be predictable um, and, you know, always adapt to the situation, but at least have some form of plan off the bat. Like that drone down in security room did nothing. Uh, the round's playing out fine for you. Round's playing out fine, but... That's a nice shot, um, but yeah, that's that's you, you know you don't you need to kind of get more of an idea as to what I want to do per each bomb site. I talked about in my most recent video how to attack, like um, you just want to have a kind of a set plan of attack and what you're going to do when they play hooker billiards and I'm Ash and I'm playing in solo queue. I'm going to take penthouse, right? So I'm going to go in through the hatch and I'm going to take penthouse. Or if they're in penthouse and I, again you're solo queue Ash, okay, I'm going to go in through hooker. Um, that's that's how I'm going to go in. I'm going to win through hooker, and then I'm going to take VIP. That's the the two plans of attack, right? Having that kind of set plan in your mind will help you with your placement of your initial drone. Um, and doing that same thing over and over will start to build that consistency, and you'll start to understand what different positionings mean. So if you know that there's someone in VIP, how do you get them out? With time and with um yeah, with just practice, you'll you'll get better at doing specific pushes, right? We need to locate a bomb. Alright, we've been spawn peeked by the bandit. Let's see what the plan of attack is here. I would assume, I may be wrong, but I would assume um, it will be relatively similar to the to the last couple rounds where a whole lot of nothing for a little bit. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being on the roof and cutting off like rotates on the roof. I do that nearly every round in, um, in coastline. Like that's some, it's something that I like to do as well. But like when you when you're not doing it with a purpose like if you're not cutting off the rotate so that something else can happen um it just becomes almost useless and you're just hoping that someone you know fails just there so you could have dropped on that bandit faster instead of taking that taking the fight to him immediately but you actually droned prior to having that hatch open if you were always going to open that hatch boom Send the ash charge in and then drone down with it so that you're, you're closer to your drone so that you can jump on and action your drone um, as soon as you get the information. You can play off that information because now you drone back through. Where's the bandit gun? You know, probably still around somewhere, but you're not you're not able to act on that information straight away. He's under the table. You're sending it. Let's see how we go. Nice, got the job done. Nice angle to cut off the rotate between sites. Process and drift. Oh, oh mate, he's sending it with the pistol. I think he's been using a pistol every round. I don't even think he's using a main gun. Finca is running all over the place. Has no intentions of planting. Nice shot. Good awareness. Right. That's really well played there at the end. Um, and it's hard. That, that part, what you just did here, this is hard to teach. You know? So you just need to work on the fundamentals a little bit more. You can't teach predictability or, you know, understanding where people, players are based on what parts of, you know, that finger was all the way in there. Um, near service, you covered through kitchen. Okay, where's this guy going to come from? I predict um, cool vibe, bottom of cool vibe. Right? So that's hard to teach. So if you just work on the fundamentals... Um, you'll be fine. Protect the bombs. Back into overtime on kitchen. Didn't go back to hooker billiards. Razor wire is deployed. Door jammer. Go on, see the man fall. Uh, four located. So you're gonna play out of blue. So 
of where we put these mute jammers in. One for sunrise. So we got two meat jammers. Mm. So you're still setting up site. Again, 30 seconds deep. It's hard. I don't mean to just keep saying that because obviously, and you know, yeah, that's an issue. Just site not actually being done properly. But um, it's still 30 seconds. Like that wall there. That's not reinforced. It's imperative to reinforce. That wall right here. Yeah, and that is exactly why we reinforce that wall. Is it will just completely cut off the site and, and your rotation ability. And also, just a quick thing to, to notice is that um, you went and put a mute jammer down in blue, you reinforced double up on, on blue, um, you have a bloke playing sunrise, and where are you now? Back on site, right? A minute into the round. So them reinforcements and then that utility of the mute jammer um, over there, it's not really coming into much effect. Maybe one of the players, the other players I haven't seen, maybe they've rotated into blue. But again, utility usage. Yeah. Oh, be careful. They rotate, they just open up the wall. You gotta be aware, my dude. So that, that wall that you're sitting on directly there should be reinforced as well. The reinforcements used out in Sunrise and Blue are useless now and the site is basically opened up. Have to be cautious of that. Dude, you gotta remember, yeah, behind you. You have to be aware of that. Like, remember as the round goes on which parts have been opened up and which lines of sight are there. C4 is not, a good, not the play. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be playing your life here a little bit. Wow. I didn't even hear that DP or the planting. Not bad. I'd, I'd be starting to tap up that bomb. Looks like you've got the idea. Made the call as well. It's good. Got the job done. Not bad. Not bad. I like that. The um, shotgun out the wall and diffuse through it. That's exactly. slick. That's what I mean. Like, it seems like, you know, you've, you went and you put your reinforcements in blue. You know, you, you do things like that. Like, you um you opened up that line of sight. So that line of sight on the soft wall is to stop the, the kitchen window plant. For anyone that doesn't know, basically means that from luggage, um, if you hop over to that platform late prone, you can just shoot them as they try and vault in the window or as they're planting. So you know that line of sight, you've reinforced blue and played it like more of like an open blue sunrise hold, right? Um, but like I kind of said at the start of the video, the problem that occurs when you watch Pro League and you, you don't fully understand why they do things, um, it can just lead to a bit of a mess where, you know, pivotal parts on site aren't reinforced like that for instance that one wall right so site setup is important here man you need to you need to be aware of that be aware of that and at least you know if you're gonna put your reinforcements down somewhere put, put them for you maybe if you're solo queue right if you if you can't rely on everybody else use your reinforcements to keep you alive and to make sure that you can do your job right because right now it doesn't seem like you understand that there are specific jobs in Siege, right? Everyone's kind of got a role and you need to be working towards objectives um, and not just completely playing reactive off the enemy team. Um, you have, you know, a little bit of structure goes a long way in Siege, a long way. Not a huge amount of um, communication on your behalf as well, my friend. You are droning, you've, you've got the concept. <laughs> you just... Drone with intent and push with intent. So 
got the hatch open first this time. I like it. You're listening. So I want to see, what I want to see right here is I want to see you use this drone to take the control that you're looking for. So if you want penthouse right now, take penthouse. So you've just droned it for yourself. You know, quick cheeky looking VIP. So there's now one back in penthouse. So you may have wasted a little bit too much time here. And now you're afraid. When you've got the opportunity to take control, take control. Otherwise there's no point droning. There is a point journey. That's a bit dramatic, but <laughs> yeah, not really. We're closing in on two minutes in the round, and as an entry fragging Ash, you have yet to come off the roof. Two minutes. But that's two minutes gone. It ain't coming back. 1v5. Not a lot you can do from here. Have the KD. He's sending it. We're going in. Yeah, cool vibe. Another one. Another one. Ah! Unlucky, bro. Yeah. Always be aware of that second peak, dude, especially when it's on 1v5. It's the easiest way to pad up your kills and actually make it relatively achievable. That still would have been 1v3. It's always going to be tough. Um, but people love to run with each other when it's 1v5. Like, oh, I want the kill. I want the kill. I want the kill. So it's a really nice way. It's like, it's, you know, like I've mentioned in a clutch video in the past um, that one of the biggest things to winning clutches is just allowing the enemy team to make mistakes, right? You're in a time pressured situation and you, you pushed up correctly. Um, as you'd go, as you would, and you, you know, you ha you're not just holding an angle, a random angle. You're actually pushing and trying to trying to get map control and trying to get towards that site. Um, but just let the enemy team make mistakes. So you got the first lesion. Expect that. Expect that second Jaeger. It's just what happens when it's um, in those situations. Protect the bombs. So we're going four four in overtime. See how we go. He's gone penthouse again. Not sure on that. I think he won hookability at Sydney. It's a kind of a funky call to, to head back to penthouse that you lost. But let's see if we can change it up and do what you gotta do. So do you I wonder if you actually know why you're reinforcing this? Because I think this could be another example of, um, you know, of watching Pro League and seeing them do certain things, but not really know how to play off them reinforcements. So the reason you reinforce that wall is so that you can maybe you as a Jaeger, you could give yourself an ADS um, right on 90 corner, and put your two Babs on either about halfway through either one of the hallway and just play peek and poke off the corner, right? And that reinforcement stops you getting shot from VIP window. So that's why that reinforcement's actually there, but. Like, like, I, like I mentioned a few times in this, like the unless you kind of know how to play off certain things, um, stick to more fundamental reinforcements. That's still fine regardless. That's not a, that's not going to harm you in any way. Um, but yeah, you're missing that rotate there between sight. Even worse if um, if they decide to um, lock it off from the window again. Do you got to put yourself in the exact same position as the last round? The window will just cut you off. Three v three. Pulse is doing work. Three v two. Two minutes left. It's time to relax, hold some consistent angles, and hit your shots. Plenty of utility there to help you out. And 90. Ish. Op four, last 
Three v one. You've made the call. Now that pulse should rotate up cool vibes. Hopefully he's not going main. Castle taking gunfights he doesn't need to take. Oh, that'd be vicious. That pulse is rotated right. I guess it's, it's a good rotate on his behalf. Make sure he didn't die on the way through. Went from B. He went to B. So the only problem with laying prone like that is um, if you decide to get up, you're going to un-ADS. So if she balls, um, could give her the advantage in a gunfire. The only issue with going prone. Down, Reloading, Not playing this terribly. I'd be, I'd remain ADS here. You're coming out of ADS. So you need to watch that crosshair placement. What are you looking at? You know? Yeah, that's what you're looking at. So keep your crosshair placement on that area. Deploying Unlucky. Yeah, Ash is wasting a lot of time here though. 15 seconds left. She's pushing Hall of Fame. You need to hold that crossfire. She's not there, bro. Oh, you hate to see it. Hate to see it. So there's there's a few things you got to do better there, dude. Just in that last little, you have to be aware of. Um, I think you already know. Should have hidden. Yeah, you can hide there. You can wrap out once you know. But I'd be more inclined to just hold a um hold an angle. You know, crossfire trade with the um with the pulse because yeah, it's still a two v one in the end of the day. But not bad, man. Not bad. I I've definitely seen worse gameplay. Um. I would just probably recommend, um, like I said a few times, just to sum it all up, I'd recommend um, be more aware of your site setups. So just getting faster at that, um, you know, and not, you shouldn't be reinforcing really at all once the round starts, let alone 30 seconds in. Um, yeah, and then aside from that, you're talking, like like we, I mentioned a few times, if you're copying things directly from Pro League, that's fine, but just make sure that you're trying to understand why they're doing that. Otherwise, they're irrelevant. Like, they won't assist you in any way, and you'd be better off with just more standard setups, right? I've no problem. Like, they're, you know, there's, there's nice, they're nice ways to set up, um, you know, a few times. Like, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, like, I've no problem with using them sort of reinforcements and using site setups like that are more complex, like the blue sunrise hold. Um, but just make sure that you understand what your goal is there and what you have to do in order for that to work. Otherwise, just stick to more fundamentally um, basic setups. Um, number two then with um, another big one is on um, on defense just making sure you're not getting skipped over um, uh, like I said like when you were playing the Jaeger and even the mute occasionally especially that round you lost on penthouse uh, just make sure you're not getting skipped over and make sure you're actually being a hassle for the enemy team and not because they just took sight and you were downstairs right I know you did get the kill on the luggage player and you tried to ro wrap and rotate out but um, you need to get get your ass straight back to site, you know, or get back into a place that's actually helping your team, not just kind of waiting not to die. Um, on attack, you need to be pushing with a purpose. That's a big one that I talk about. I'm going to have to drop a video on it because I feel like it's just going to be something that so many people are struggling with. But you need to set yourself out, understand, play with intent, set yourself out. What, okay, what do I want to achieve here? I'm Ash. I need to be the one that's getting into the building. So like I said, if they're in VR, if they're playing in hooker billiards, my goal here is I want to take control of penthouse, theater, and VIP. I want to control that area of the map, right? So I'm going to drone, I'm going to open the hatch first, then I'm going to drone in. As soon as I know that I can take that drop, I'm going to drop in and I'm going to start holding the angle, face checking, right? Lock it down and you communicate that to your team, get them to wrap up and blow up that VIP wall or something like that, right? So it doesn't matter what you do, just know what you're going to do and you'll get better at it over time and you'll start to be more aware of, like I said, of setups and you'll be able to spot holes in your in your um, in, in the defense and stuff. Um, yeah, so play a little bit more proactively rather than reactively, um, I guess would be a big one and make sure that you're you're fast enough, uh, you're, you're close enough to be able to action, um, action you, you know what you see on your drone okay um but don't stress too much man you, you've got the you've got the right um outlook but just focus on those those few things um i don't think it's mechanics that are you know really holding you back at the moment um you know you're able to hit a few kills you i think you, you finished on seven kills or whatever so in these ranks your mechanics are fine 
Um, but what will be holding you back, even though it didn't so much, even, even though you lost, it didn't really affect you in this game, is everything that I just mentioned there, your intent, your setup, um, and other things like that, and your positioning. Don't forget to relax as well. That was another big one with that Jaeger. Um, and even in the Jaeger, in that last situation, again, you just need to relax, stay confident, and hold a crossfire with, um, if it's a 2v1, hold a crossfire. But um, yeah, I hope you all um, enjoyed the video and get some value out of it. Thank you very much, Charlie, for sending in the video. Um, and uh, I hope you find some value. But um, without wasting any more time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.